Hello students, or we are going to start new point that is a tangent from a point on a circle. Okay, so in previous video we learned that what is length of tangent. So if this is a point of contact P, this is a radius OP, then if we draw this PQ as a line, suppose this point is Q is here, so PQ length of tangent we suppose that that is a point point of contact and this point Q so PQ is a length of tangent okay so now we are going to start new point that is a theorem so here the length of two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal okay so if we take external point A and if we have to draw so maximum two tangents we can draw from this external point okay so we have to show that these two tangents tangent ap and tangent aq are equal okay so here we have to construct that we have to join op oq and oa okay so this we have to join op oq and OA okay now we have to show that these two triangles triangle OPA and triangle OQA congruent and if these two triangles congruent by CPCT we can write AP is equal to AQ okay so for this we have to write first given AP and AQ are tangents of circle C having center is O and radius is R. Okay. Now what we have to prove that is we have to show that AP and AQ are equal. The lengths of two tangents drawn from an external point to the circle so these two tangents drawn from point a we have to show that these two tangents are equal means length of these two tangents are equal so we have to show that ap is equal to aq for this we did construction so that is join op oq and oa so join op OQ and OA okay now what we have to prove this we have to start from showing that triangles are congruent okay so before that this OP and OQ are radius and AP and AQ are tangents so in first theorem we learn that angle between radius and tangent that is 90 degree so this angle angle Q that is angle OQA and angle OPA that is a 90 degree okay so here we can write OP perpendicular to PA or AP and OQ perpendicular to QA okay and here we can write reason angle between radius and tangent that is a 90 degree okay so you can write reason only angle between radius and tangent okay now we start to prove that these two triangles are congruent so in triangle OPA and triangle OQA so in that now here OP is equal to OQ because OP and OQ are radii of same circle so op and ok are equal then angle opa and angle oqa 90 degree and this oa that is a common side of this two triangle okay so here oa is the hypotenuse so we can show that these two triangles are congruent by rhs criteria okay so first we have to write op is equal to oq reason radii of same circle then angle op 
ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ क्यू ए बोथ नाइंटी डिग्री एंड ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ ए दिस ओ ए इज द हाइपोटेनियस ऑफ बोथ ट्राइंगल ओके सो दिस ओ ए इज कॉमन साइड सो दिस टू ट्राइंगल्स वी कैन राइट हियर कॉन्ग्रोन बाय आर एच एस क्राइटेरिया सो बाय आर एच एस क्राइटेरिया ओके सो इफ दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रोन करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स आर इक्वल ओके सो हियर ए पी एंड ए क्यू आर करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल ओ पी ए एंड ट्राइंगल ओ क्यू ए सो वी कैन राइट हियर ए पी इज इक्वल टू ए क्यू और पी ए इज इक्वल टू क्यू ए दैट इज अय सी पी सी टी वी कैन राइट सो हियर ए पी एंड ए क्यू आर टेंजेंट्स ड्रॉन फ्रॉम एन एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट ए एंड ए पी एंड ए क्यू आर इक्वल सो हियर वी यूज फर्स्ट शो द ट्राइंगल्स कॉम्बोन एंड देन बाय सी पी सी टी वी कैन राइट ए पी एंड ए क्यू आर इक्वल ओके Now we will prove next theorem. Okay, second theorem is if two tangents drawn to a circle from an external point, then they subtend equal angles at the center, and they are equally inclined to the segment joining the center to that point. Means here, they subtend equal angles at the center. Means these two angles, angle AOP and angle AOQ. we have to show that equal this is first one and second one they are equally inclined means ap and aq tangents equally inclined inclined means make same or make angle with the line segment joining the center to that points means we have to show that these two angles are equal okay so in first one we have to show that angle aop and angle aoq equal and in second one we have to show that angle pao and angle qao we have to show that equal okay so proof is same we have to show that first triangles are congruent these two triangles by rhs criteria or you can show that these two triangles congruent by sss criteria because by using first theorem ap and aq are tangents equal of a uh, equal length so we can show that ap is equal to aq op is equal to oq because op and oq are radii ap and aq are tangents drawn from an external point so ap and aq are equal and oa is the common side so by sss criteria we can show that these two triangles congruent or we can use rhs criteria or we can use sas criteria also because here op is equal to oq this is right angle and aq and ap are equal so we can use ss criteria also to show that these two triangles congruent and by cpct only we have to write angle aop equal to angle aoq and angle pao is equal to angle qao okay so here given is same ap and aq are tangents of circle having center is o radius is r we have to prove that first one so first we have to show that angle aop equal to angle aoq and angle pao is equal to angle qao okay so again proof is same this we have to show that by rhs criteria triangles are congruent and by cpct only we have to write here angle aop is equal to angle aoq and angle pao is equal to angle qao this by using cpct okay so you can show that these two triangles by any criteria either rhs sss or ss and then show that these two angles are equal by cpct means this first one and second one by cpct okay and this two theorems are more important and we have to use this theorem to solve example okay now we will solve examples 
Okay, first example is in figure AB is equal to AC given. Prove that B is equal to EC. BE is equal to EC. We have to prove. And AB and AC are equal given. So we directly start here solution. Now here, if we consider this A is external point and AD and AF are tangents drawn from an external point A, then AD and AF are equal. Similarly, B is external point and BD and BE are two tangents drawn from an external point. So BD and BE are equal. Same here, CF and CE are equal. So we have to write first this. AD is equal to AF then BD is equal to BE and CE is equal to CF and here reason we can write tangents drawn from an external point to circle to the circle are equal so here this ad is equal to f bd is equal to b and c is equal to cf now here what is given ab and ac are equal given so we have to write now this now ab is equal to ac this is given now ab we can write ab we can write ad plus db AC we can write AF plus FC. Okay. So AB first we have to write AD plus DB. AC we can write AF plus FC. Okay. Now here AD and AF are equal. Okay. So if AD and AF are equal, this will get cancelled. Only DB and FC remain. So here AD plus DB is equal to instead of AF we can write AD plus FC okay here we give number 1 and from 1 okay so here what is remain DB is equal to FC now again DB or BD this BD is equal to BE so instead of this DB we can replace as a BE and instead of CF or FC we can write as a CE. So B is equal to C. This also from 1. Okay. So here B is equal to C and we have to prove same B is equal to EC. So here B is equal to EC or CE. Okay. Now we will take second example. Second example is a circle is touching the side BC of triangle ABC at P. So circle is touching the side BC at P and touching AB and AC produced so AB and AC if we produced then circle touch AB and AC produced at point Q and R we have to prove that AQ is equal to half into perimeter of triangle ABC okay so here first we have to write which tangents are equal okay so here if if we consider A is external point then here AQ and AR because here Q and R are external uh, point of contact so AQ tangent AQ and tangent AR are equal because tangent AQ and AR drawn from an external point A so AQ is equal to AR after that B is also external point and from point B two tangents are drawn that is BP and BQ so BP and BQ are also equal that is two tangents drawn from an external point same from point C if we consider C is external point so from point C two tangents are drawn that is a CP and CR so these two tangents are also equal that is a CP is equal to CR okay and reason is same tangents drawn from an external point okay 
now what we have to show show that aq is equal to half into perimeter of triangle abc okay so we will start from this perimeter of triangle abc now perimeter of triangle abc perimeter means sum of all the three sides of triangle abc so ab plus bc plus ac so ab plus bc plus ac now ab plus bc we can write bp plus pc so this is bp plus pc plus this ac as it is so ab plus now this bp and bq are equal bp and bq are equal so instead of bp we can write bq similarly pc and cr are equal cp and cr are equal so instead of this pc we can write cr okay this is from 1 give here number 1 okay so if we take this ab plus bq so ab plus bq that is a aq plus cr plus ac cr plus ac that is a ar so aq plus ar now here we have to show that aq so aq and ar are equal so instead of ar we can write aq because aq and ar are equal so instead of this ar put again aq so aq plus aq that is a 2 aq and if we shift this to here so half perimeter of triangle abc is equal to aq so shift this to here so 1 by 2 into perimeter of triangle abc is equal to aq so we will get aq is equal to half into perimeter of triangle abc okay now we will see next example next example is in figure the sides ab bc and ca of triangle abc touch a circle with center o and radius r this is radius r at p q and r respectively this circle touch the sides of triangle at points p q and r we have to prove that ab plus cq is equal to ac plus bq this is first one and second one area of triangle abc is equal to half into peri perimeter of triangle abc into r means radius okay so first here what is the given quantity is means here ap and ar equal because ap and ar are tangents drawn from an external point a similarly b bp and bq and similarly cq and cr so first we write this so here ap is equal to ar bp is equal to bq and cq is equal to cr okay reason for all this tangents drawn from an external point okay then we have to start from this uh, lhs that is first one ab plus cq is equal to now here ab we can write ap plus pb so ap plus pb plus this cq okay now here ap we can write as ar so instead of ap put ar plus pb or bp we can write bq plus cq we can write cr now if we take ar plus cr so ar plus cr we can take together plus this bq now ar plus cr that is a ar plus cr this is a ac so instead of this ar plus cr we can write ac plus bq so this is a rhs ab plus cq is equal to ac plus bq okay so this is first one now second one for this second one we have to join this all points to the center o so join oa ob and oc and if we join this point also or oq and op 
so these are perpendicular because these are tangents and this is radius so angle between radius and tangent that is 90 degree so these angles are 90 degree okay now here we have to show that area of triangle abc is equal to half into perimeter of triangle abc into r now if we take area of triangle abc this area we can divide in three triangles that is a triangle aob triangle boc and triangle aoc if we add the area of all these three triangles we will get area of triangle abc okay so first we write this area of triangle abc is equal to area of triangle aob plus area of triangle boc plus area of triangle aoc okay now area of triangle aob if we take this triangle aob so half into base ab and height is this radius op so half into ab into op similarly for area of triangle boc half into base bc and height oq and similarly for triangle aoc half into base is ac and height is or okay so first we have to write this area of triangle aob half into base ab into height op plus half into base bc height oq plus half into base ac and height or okay now half into ab into op's radius so instead of this op we can write r half into bc into oq again radius plus half into ac into r now half into r we can take common so half r common so what is remain ab plus bc plus ac now ab plus bc plus ac means it is a perimeter of triangle abc so we can write like this way half into perimeter of triangle abc into r okay so we will get area of triangle abc now we will take next example fourth example is a circle touches all the four sides of quadrilateral abcd and we have to prove that ab plus cd is equal to bc plus da okay so first we have to write uh, tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal means ap is equal to aq dq is equal to dr bp is equal to bs and cr is equal to cs so first we have to write all this here first we have to write ap is equal to aq now in this example here lhs is ab plus cd so we have to write again same means ab plus cd ab we will get ap plus uh, ap plus pb and here uh, first we have to write means ap is equal to aq then uh, pb we can write or bp we can write bp is equal to bs okay after that here we want cd so cd dr and dq equal cr and cs equal so we have to write this dr is equal to dq and cr is equal to cs okay reason again same tangent drawn from an external point okay now if we add this if we can give number here this is 1 2 3 4 so adding 1 2 3 and 4 so here ap plus bp plus dr plus cr is equal to aq plus bs plus dq plus cs okay now here ap plus pb or ap plus bp that is equal to ab 
डी आर प्लस सी आर दैट इज अ सी डी सो ए बी प्लस सी डी इज इक्वल टू नाउ हियर वी वॉन्ट बी सी प्लस डी ए सो बी सी वी विल गेट बी एस प्लस सी एस सो बी एस प्लस सी एस एंड ए डी और डी ए वी कैन गेट ए क्यू प्लस डी क्यू सो वी विल टेक फर्स्ट दैट टूगेदर दैट इज ए क्यू प्लस डी क्यू एंड प्लस बी एस प्लस सी एस सो ए क्यू प्लस डी क्यू दैट इज अ ए डी प्लस बी एस प्लस सी एस दैट इज अ बी सी सो हियर ए बी प्लस सी डी इज इक्वल टू ए डी प्लस बी सी दिस इज अल एच एस इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस ओके ए बी प्लस सी डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी प्लस ए डी और ए डी प्लस बी सी ओके नाउ वी विल टेक नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सिमिलरली लाइक दिस वे इंस्टेड ऑफ इयर कॉर्डिलेटर पैरलोग्राम इज देयर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज प्रूव दैट अ पैरलोग्राम सरकमस्क्राइबिंग अ सर्कल इज अ रोमबस ओके सरकमस्क्राइबिंग अ सर्कल मीन्स इन साइड अ पैरलोग्राम सर्कल इज देयर पैरलोग्राम सरकमस्क्राइबिंग अ सर्कल एंड वी हैव टू शो दैट दैट पैरलोग्राम इज अ रोमबस ओके और क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस वे इफ ऑल द साइड्स ऑफ पैरलोग्राम टच अ सर्कल then show that parallelogram is a rhombus okay so proof is or solution is same like this way uh, same previous one question here we have to show that up to this ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc means sum of opposite side that is ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc so we have to show up to this and after that here ab and CD are equal because it is sides of parallelogram and here AD is equal to BC. So instead of CD, we can write here AB. So AB plus AB is equal to AD plus BC is here on RHS. So instead of BC, we can put AD. So AD plus AD. Okay. Reason is here. ABCD is a parallelogram. and ab is equal to cd ad is equal to bc okay now here ab plus ab that is a 2 times ab and ad plus ad that is a 2 times ad okay two will get cancel so we will have here ab is equal to ad okay now see here ab and ad are adjacent sides of parallelogram and if adjacent sides are equal in parallelogram then that parallelogram becomes a rhombus okay so here ab is equal to ad means adjacent sides are equal so therefore uh, parallelogram abcd is a rhombus okay so first we have to show up to this that is the same ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc okay sometimes uh, this means up to this question is like this way among this four sides three sides is given and we have to find fourth side okay so here we have to use this ab plus cd first show that ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc put the values of three sides and find fourth side okay then uh another question is like this way prove that a parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus okay so again same we have to prove up to this ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc then in parallelogram opposite sides equal so we will get ab plus ab ad plus ad that is a 2ab is equal to 2ad and ab is equal to ad means it means adjacent sides equal and if in parallelogram adjacent sides equal that parallelogram becomes a rhombus so parallelogram abcd is a rhombus okay so this is important question now we will take next example okay next example is a circle is inscribed in triangle abc having sides 8 cm 10 cm and 12 cm as shown in figure find ad b and cf okay so if this is 8 cm this is 10 cm and this is 12 cm we have to find ad means this side ad be and cf okay so first we have to write this cf and ce equal 
tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal so cf c equal af and ad equal and bd and b equal okay so here first write this solution cf is equal to ce now this cf and ce i am taking it is a as x okay so cf is equal to ce we have to say that it is x similarly af and ad we have to take as a y so af is equal to ad is equal to y and bd is equal to be we have to write it is as z okay now here ac we can write cf plus af that is x plus y is equal to 12 cm okay so first we have to write all this ac is equal to cf plus af is equal to x plus y is equal to 12 similarly ab we can write ad plus db that is a y plus z so y plus z is equal to 8 and similarly ac we can write sorry bc we can write that is a c plus eb so c plus eb is equal to x plus z is equal to 10 okay now here we have to find ad be and cf means y z and x so all x uh, y and z we have to find so how we will get this if we give number here 1 2 and 3 if we add this 1 2 and 3 we will get so adding 1 2 and 3 so if we add this x plus x this x and this x we will get 2x plus this y plus this y that is a 2y plus z plus z that is a 2z is equal to 12 plus 8 plus 10 that is a 30 so if we take 2 common 2 in bracket x plus y plus z is equal to 30 this 2 divide here so x plus y plus z is equal to 15 okay now we have this x plus y plus z is equal to 15 now if we have to find x y plus z this y plus z is equal to 8 so if y plus z we will put here so x plus y plus z is equal to 15 so y plus z value we have from equation 2 so x plus 8 is equal to 15 so x is equal to 15 minus 8 that is a 7 similarly now we have x is equal to 7 so if we put x is equal to 7 here we will get value of y if we put x is equal to 7 here we will get value of z so from 1 x plus y is equal to 12 so 7 plus y is equal to 12 y is equal to 5 and from equation 3 x plus z is equal to 10 so 7 plus z is equal to 10 so z is equal to 10 minus 7 that is a 3 so x is equal to 7 y is equal to 5 and z is equal to 3 so x means here that is a we want here cf so cf is a x so cf is equal to 7 centimeter then we want ad and b so ad is equal to y so ad is equal to 5 centimeter and be that is a z so b is equal to 3 centimeter okay or here from this equation also we can get y and z so if we want y we can put x plus z so x plus z we have this value 10 so if we put x plus z 10 y we will get 5 again if we want uh, z so we can put value of x plus y that is x plus y is 12 so 12 plus z is equal to 15 z is equal to 3 okay or you can solve by using this way okay